Hello? Is this Attorney DeNoble? Ah, uh, yes it is. You've reached my direct line. How'd you get this number? Oh, so nice to meet you. Uh, Janice Joplin recommended me. She said you helped her husband out a lot. Ah, uh, yes, Janice. Uh, she is She is good people. If she recommended me uh, to you, it must mean you're good people too. How can I help? <sighs> so I have a situation I was hoping you could help me with. Okay, I'm all ears. Well, so I was recently married to a lady in Fornlandia, and uh, everything is going great, and I've come back, and I want you to I need some help getting her here, because I'm not sure I understand the whole process. Well, I need to ask you a few questions to you know, figure out if you qualify. You know, generally speaking, if you don't have a criminal record, if you haven't petitioned for anybody before this, if you have enough income plus assets to sponsor somebody, if your marriage was done properly, if it's recognized by the U.S., if your spouse um, themselves doesn't have any immigration violations or anything else that raises a red flag, that what you would do in the scenario was file an I-130 here in the United States, and then that would get transferred to the Department of State if it was approved, and the Department of State would um, issue a letter, and your spouse would file an immigrant visa petition, and then eventually she would she would come over. You know, that's that's something that we can definitely help you with. Now, that's general. I still need you to come in so we could talk through the details. Oh, okay. Thank you. And, and you said that's that's the... Uh, the, the I-130 and the immigrant visa, yes, for your spouse. And um, if you come in, we can we can kind of do an intake and, and, and talk about it. Yeah. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Um, listen, I, I know you're busy, um, but can you just like tell me, how, how long does that take? Yeah, it's hard to say for sure. Um, there's a backlog of applications all around the world. Some consulates are still closed. The last time I checked, Foreignlandia... It was about 16 months, give or take a few months. 16 months? Wow. That's a long time. Is there anything that can be done? Uh, not really. Uh, you know, there sometimes there's special reasons that we can ask for an ex, uh, you know, an application to be expedited, but uh, you know, those are rare, and uh, right now, with everybody waiting, I, I can't say I've had too much success. Um, it, it's probably not likely. Okay, um, so one last question. I saw on the internet that she could come here... Uh, no, no need to say it. I know what you're going to say. It doesn't work like that. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you right now. No need to say it. No, no, no need to say it. You know what I'm going to say? I suspect I do. It won't work. Well, I'm talking about the BUI. Don't finish the sentence. Everyone has a thought. Everybody's first creative immigration idea is, hey, uh, instead of waiting for my spouse or immediate relative to, to come over, you know, through the consulate, what if uh, we use this tourist visa and then uh, we suddenly want to get married while we're in the U.S.? You know, they... Uh, it's it's the least creative, smart idea you can possibly have in immigration, and there's good reasons not to do that. Uh, sometimes there are reasons you have to do it, but um, if you're thinking about it ahead of time, and you're planning to do it that way, then you're doing it wrong already, because uh, you, know, you create something called immig immigration intent when you're applying for a non-immigrant visa, and it's just bad, you know. Okay, but I'm just saying, think through this with me one time. What if, I don't know if anybody's thought of this before, but she comes in on the B1, B2, and then she changes her mind, and she's... Yeah, it's, it's the oldest method in the book. It, it just, it doesn't work that way. So, can you, like, help me do it, like, in any way? Yes, I'll help you do it the right way. Okay, um, and then I know you're busy. One more question. How much does that cost, though? Because I'm not trying to pay somebody lots of money to fill out forms. No offense. Yeah, I get that. I'll send you an email, okay? All right. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not going to work with that.